We've got Lunaroids. Uh, this one is actually a uh, Solana project. Um, and if I mint this one, which I hope to do, uh, it will be my first Solana uh, NFT. But uh, I love this project. The artwork is really cool, in my opinion. You've got this great 3D uh, robot samurai. Um, so really wicked artwork. Um, that's first off. And then if we take a, a quick scroll down, they actually have built out a bit of a lore already for the character and for the project itself. So uh, I, I won't go too deep into it, but uh, it's a futuristic uh, shape-shifting samurai masked robot. That is what a Lunaroid is. So uh, the Lunaroids fought in World War III uh, and then disappeared from the face of the earth. Uh, and now they're coming back. Uh, and here's some more examples of the art, just wicked art. Um, so that's part of the, uh, part of the lore is that these, uh, these robot samurai warriors uh, disappeared and now they're coming back and reclaiming their chunk of the metaverse which is actually part of their roadmap we'll dip into that a uh, little later but uh they do have plans for metaverse um and then they also part of this project is actually this other character zentaro uh so zentaro is lunaroid's son so uh, there's again more lore behind this. You can, you guys can take a look deeper into this on their website. But this is a, a free airdrop for holders, so that's part of the roadmap as well, and that's what we'll get into now. So they've got uh, unconventional art. They want to create a legacy of uh, this 3D Lunaroid brand. Um, so a lot of focus on their art and a lot of focus on the community. Um, so right now they're, they're giving away 20 different Lunaroids and they, they want to build a strong community. Um, so the utility behind it, uh, communities determined to improve on a daily basis. They want to develop a governance system with the, the holders. So a potential DAO play here as well. Um, list the project on all major Solana NFT marketplaces. That's something I forgot to mention, actually. Uh, this is going to be on the Magic Eden. It, it is on the Magic Eden launch pad. So that's a, a big, big deal um, to be on that Magic Eden launch pad. That's going to get them a, a ton of uh, uh, publicity. And, and honestly, we'll probably mint out fairly quickly. Um, so they have a, a number of partnerships in the works and they're, they're developing to, to build a brand here. Uh, they're again, like I said, they're going to do a free drop of uh, Zentaro. So every holder, excuse me, every holder will get a free um, uh, free NFT. Uh, they're planning on expanding their team, and then they're going to create the Lunaverse. So they'll have their 3D avatars within a metaverse as well. Um, so that's a quick overview of their roadmap. Um, they do talk about the artist. So the artist is, uh, is Docs. So you can go to his Facebook page. Um, yeah, uh, artist is Docs. The team, it, they're not fully, uh, fully doxed here. But uh, again, that's something that may not uh, be an issue if they if the community is strong, if you go in, you ask the right questions, you get a good feel for what's going on with this project. Like do a docs team isn't always necessary, but again, make sure you're doing your own research when, when it comes to that. Um, so let's just jump over to their, their Twitter. Uh, they're going to uh, have, they have 13,000 followers, um, which is actually a bit lower compared to what they have in their discord. Their Discord is uh, actually quite busy. They have 22,000 people in their Discord. And it's honestly constantly moving. Whitelist is full. So you can't get whitelist for this guy, unfortunately. Um, here's some more examples uh, of their artwork. 
Um, and they're launch. Sorry, I didn't even tell you guys when it's launching. It's launching on the twentieth. It's launching in three days. Uh, so January twentieth on the Magic Eden launch pad. Um, and, but we don't know a price yet. Uh, they're trying to keep an eye on the price of Soul, and uh, they're gonna give us a, a price closer to the launch date. Um, which is in three days. So if you want to get involved, you can't get whitelist, unfortunately, but if you want to learn more about the project and if this looks like something you'd be interested in, uh, get into the discord, uh, start talking to the community and, uh, look into how to buy on magic Eden with, with your soul wallet. Um, I, I actually will have to create a, a wallet and, and, and get some soul for this, but uh, I I really do want to get in on this project. I just love the artwork, uh, and I think I think the way that this Magic Eden launchpad is going, every project that is on that launchpad is is just instantly sold out. So I think it's a good safe play. But again, not financial advice. Do your own research. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, the the Lunaroids uh, NFT. Just I love the art here as well. Hey? Mm. It's also you know there, there's so many derivatives and stuff like that going on at the moment. It's so nice to have something fresh and different, and you know instead of so uh, yeah, this is incredible. I mean you you'll definitely be recognized on any social media, whether it be Twitter or whatever, if that's your profile picture, um, sure. which is really cool. I really oh. like it. Sorry, as well, I forgot to mention, there's 8,888 of these guys. And so, the, the mint price, how does it equate, if you had to convert that to Ethereum, like how much is it going to be? So one soul is, uh, I, last I checked, it was around 150 USD. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know what they're going to price this at because I've seen some projects on the soul uh, ecosystem honestly being a little bit more expensive than they need to be like five six soul and they're trying to grab onto that like that ethereum price i think i, I don't really yeah. know what the the play is there but um yeah like it, it could be anywhere from 150 bucks to 300 bucks i i'm not sure yet we, we don't know but one one soul equates to roughly 150 200 USD. It goes in between that range usually. Cool. Very